of his chamber there, so he'll eat whatever he wants and anything he has left over, he'll fly down and he sticks it in the hole of the, of the center block to, for later, because uh, they don't have that crop. Now you see that band there, though? When they're captive bred, that little band on the leg has a serial number, so when they're captive bred, they all have that. And so I mentioned before that one hawk that swiped the hand. Now this is a snake that it comes from down where, uh, where I have a place in the Amazon. You mentioned I, uh, about eight or nine years ago, I visited the Amazon to write a sequel for a book I wrote called The Twilight of the Wild. As soon as my boots hit the ground, I just really fell in love with the place. And um, so I started going back, study as much as I can, uh, leading some trips down there. Um, I actually met my wife there. She's a Kukam Indian from the Peruvian Amazon. And uh, then I do a program that uh, we just started called Nets for Ninos, where we bring in malaria nets. Uh, uh, to babies that live in, in, the, uh, in the remote villages. Because to this day, 3,000 children every day die of malaria. Uh, and just to wrap them up in a net, and it's just a ten, little $10 net, uh, really saves lives. So it's just something that I really love doing down there. And uh, so this is kind of a species that comes from that area. There's a little boa. This is Oreo. See, the belly looks like cookies and cream ice cream. So you're going to name Oreo, and this was a wedding gift, and the only wedding gift I actually use. Now, very, very much like the pythons, but there are some differences too. For instance, these are lie bearers, uh, where the, the pythons are the egg layers. Uh, and this is a, an arboreal snake. And what I mean by that is it, it's a tree, it's a tree dwelling snake. You know, we have some snakes that just grow up in the uh, uh, in the water. <laughs> Some grow up under my hat. Uh, but some grow up in the water. Uh, some are kind of semi-aquatic, and they like going back and forth from the land. Some are ground snakes, and some are tree snakes. This is a snake that amazingly can be born in a tree, can spend its entire life in a tree, die in a tree, never ever to touch the ground. Everything it needs.